in this section we will see how we can convert postfix expression to infix expression as i have already told in the last videos whenever we are doing the conversion the meaning should not be changed now when we are talking about postfix so definitely we are having postfix expression where the operands are there and operator is later on added and we have to convert that into infix expression we have already seen the algorithm that how we can convert from postfix to infix but today we will see the example because algorithm are nothing but the steps that how we can proceed but when we are solving it then the idea gets clear so we are having the postfix expression you can see over here a b minus d e plus f star and slash now when we are converting from postfix to infix again the same thing that we are going to scan the expression from left to right but in infix to postfix we were dealing with the symbol star and output here the star part also plays the main role because we are having the postfix postfix we have to uh, convert into infix where we have to add the operator in between the operands so according to algorithm the definitely star plays the main important role but star top also plays the important role so we will start our first element is operand that is a so your star top is a now what is star top all of us know that stack is what stack is a data structure where we are inserting and deleting the element from one end and that end is nothing but top the same fund is applicable over here so here this is stack top so the expression on output that our stack contains a okay now what is next next is again operand so it is b so your stack top is b we also know that the stack is what last in first term so we will have over here a and b your top stack is b this was top stack a now what is next next is the operator as per our algorithm whenever the operator is there we will be popping these operands and the operator will be placed in between the operands so we will place this operator in between these two elements so the first that is pop that is b the second that is pop that is a and here we have a operator okay now what is next that is d e. so the input is d e. now what will be the stack Definitely. Now, our stack already contains a minus b. So this b will come over here. Now, what is next? Next is again e. E is again the operand. So here e, your stack top will be e. So our stack contains e, and the rest stack will be. now what is next next is the operator so whenever the operator comes what we are doing we are popping the operands and placing this operator in between so this a minus b will be as it is so what will we pop e that is our top stack b and we will place this particular operator in between the operands now what is next f f is the operand so we will directly place it in the top stack so here we are having a minus b b plus e and here is your f now what is next next is again operator so operator so we have to form the elements now definitely the question that will come to your mind that man 